Hello ladies and gents, this is the Rev. As you can hear in the background, we've got our big daddy out here to play. And we've got all kinds of fun, exciting things going on. Oh, already killed one, didn't even try. Alright. Yeah. So this evening I thought we'd put together a little bit of bit of beast mode here. And show you guys. Oh, really, son? Ship has been blown away. Whoa! Well, that's why I don't got my display up. There we go. So I thought thought I'd uh, have us some fun here and show you guys what it's like flying and playing with one of these big old beasts. Something else is shooting me, huh? Alright, well, you know. You're not gonna make a long sun. Especially since I've got stuff all around on this bad boy. Huh. Alright. Oh, he's running, huh? Well, we'll, we'll chase him. He ain't gonna get far. So you might be wondering, well, why all of a sudden did you decide to do this? Well, this week I've been uh, working on a ship's guide for our beginner's guide here for Star Point. Jim and I, too. And... As I was doing so, the member a pathetic excuse from the forums pointed out that down here in this corner here, these uh, T-drives, I didn't explain those properly. And he was right. I didn't. So after I kill this guy, because I don't like people to shoot me and run, I'll explain that and show that to you guys real quick. And then we'll start seeing about going and just getting into some gnarly fights here if we can get our hands on any. Oh, he's almost dead. One round, he's gone. All right. I'm coming, son. It's time to die. All right. Get nice and close. I don't know how many times I've dropped out of warp and I'm just out of my weapons range. That's never fun. Oh man, he is just running like a little girl. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> ah, well, we'll go pop over here real quick. Looks like I just left a husk for us to chop up. This area is expected to be very hostile. Yep, that's why I'm here. Hostiles in the area. Go. See how many I can kill. Huh. For some reason the grapple here doesn't like to oh there we go, we just gotta get him close enough. There we go. Level 16, he ain't gonna last long. Oh, we got other guys coming up on us. <laughs> ah, cool. We've destroyed an enemy target. <laughs> I gotta love that. Not even trying, and I'm just smoking them. Tell you the combat is a lot of fun with this game, you know. Normally when you uh when there's space combat, you know I've seen a lot of 2D, but I haven't seen 3D done real well. It's always the same kind of thing like Star Wars and
you know, and it's it all has that 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 narrow third person, and I'm really enjoying this. Uh, what we've got here? Oh, it's just a baby too. It's time to start bringing out my Omega Flate. There we go. Oh. Oh, well, we don't want him to get too far away from us. He's probably trying to run. Of course he is. Those things are big and slow, though. I tell you, I was screwing around with... Uh, some of the gunships in those things, man, those things are really maneuverable compared to these. These are like just giant lumber and sloths. <laughs> then you think about the power involved, makes sense. Finish him off. Oh, that's why, because it's blowing up. Another hostile ship has been blown away. <laughs> Ah, uh, how many can we do? Is that three so far, something like that? Yeah, I didn't want to jump in the middle of space because they've got dreadnoughts and other stuff too, so I didn't want to get that blown away. Oh man, did I kill them all already? Oh, oh no, there's another one way over there. So for some of you new people who have showed up on the old stream, tonight we are flying with one of the beasts. This thing is, uh, Battleship. It's got a, only one flight, but I wanted one because it has cloak. Now most of them have two to three flights you can get out of here. Two flights normally for a lot of the battleships. When you get up into the carriers, those guys rock three, so. Then of course I got the thing dialed out here. Extra distance, extra damage, all kinds of good stuff. I got a VIP on board that, that's just been there for so long. <laughs> all right. That helps when I actually go towards the correct place. There we go. Hostiles confirmed in sensor radius. All right. Gonna get us our fight that I wanted. Oh, sounds spectacular. Yeah, I wouldn't even pay attention to him. So as you can see, this bad boy is a beast. Well, that was incredibly easy. I suggest checking the star chart, Captain. New missions are available. Oh, there we go. Whole bunch this of stuff just showed up. To be very hostile. Good. Friendly target acquired. Hello, friends. Soon to be dead. Oop. 
sideways. That way I can use that cannon. And while the front cannon's still reloading, we'll shoot that one. <laughs> Which is one of the benefits to running one of these big beasts. It's got 50 of these rounds versus eight. We've destroyed an enemy target. That's right, give up your goo. There we go, all right. Who else is in here to get some... Whoop. There we go. Sometimes I do get a little confused when it comes to trying to fly these things. We'll drop this sucker quick. Oh, okay. We're going to trade? All right. There you go. You might want to make sure you're close enough. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Keeper just tipped a little bit. He's really in trouble. Warning. Shields collapsed. They did not collapse. They did no such thing. Ooh, and they are right back up. There we go. Another hostile ship has been blown away. Yes, it has. Well, I'd like to thank everybody on the stream tonight for staying with us as we went through and saw what kind of fun one of the bigger ships can do in the game. I'm the Rev. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time if the gods don't get me first, or the wife. <laughs>